Hi and welcome to a new video from the maintenance playlist. Most of the footage that you see on this video was taken about a year ago in Lefkas, uh, about six months after we bought the boat and it still has to be the most filthiest and trickiest job that we've done to date. Most of you know, AMLs have a, quite a lot of unique design features and one of them is a very deep grey water bilge that sits in the keel and in that bilge is a copper bonding strap. This bonding strap, this copper bonding strap, connects to the keel bolts which attaches to the metal keel. I think primarily it, its job is to connect the metal bulb of the, of the keel onto the rest of the bonding system in the boat, which in turn are connected to the anodes mounted on the rudder. You've got to stay with me on this one. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail because as far as I'm concerned, it's a dark art that I don't fully understand. It might also act as an SSB ground plate. It might also act as a, as a, a, a lightning earth, you know, if, if the boat gets struck by lightning. I don't know. In the original design, there's only two uh, sacrificial anodes, two zincs on the rudder, um, as far as I'm aware. But one of the previous owners had connected anodes to the metal bulb itself uh, at the end of the keel um, and it had shown signs of wear so I presume it was doing its job whether they'd added it after the copper bonding strap had broken or whether it just adds an extra um, a sacrificial anode to the system I'm, I'm not entirely sure um, but I replaced those as well just in case I know there's a lot of discussion about over zincing um, and things like this who knows in a year's time I might spot something um, and have to rethink the whole thing I'm no expert in bonding systems or zincs or sacrificial anodes and the sizes or anything like this video isn't anything to do with that this video is just about reinstating AML's original design of the copper bonding strap anybody out there with expertise in this area please add your comments below this is presuming that YouTube still haven't disabled our comments there is a video here that explains a little bit about what's going on. Um, if they have, you can always, always go to our um, Facebook page and leave comments on there. Okay, in enamel, everything goes into one bilge, okay? It's all the grey water, apart from the poo. The poo doesn't, that goes into separate tanks, but all the grey water, so the stuff in the showers, the sink, and um, the engine, it's the engine bay as well. So it all goes into one bilge, and it's pumped out by an automatic bilge pump, and also there's a manual bilge pump. Now, at the bottom of that bilge is one of the keel bolts, one of the bolts that holds the keel on. And attached to that bolt is the bonding strap, which is connected to everything on the boat that might corrode. So the bonding strap is supposed to stop everything corroding. Now, we thought that that might be broken, but before we found out, we had to pump everything out of the bilge first. This copper strap runs down the inside of a grey water bilge which is also housing uh, lots of pipes and things. You've got to move all of those pipes and pump out the grey water bilge just to be able to get to this knot, just to see it even. So first of all we had to remove the four inch pipe that houses the float switch which is another unique ammo sort of quirky thing um, and that all has to be um, disconnected and physically taken out and cleaned. Uh, the pipe that pumps out all the stuff. I need to put this in anything rolling. This is great fun. <laughs> so there was a lot of gunk in there. And the other thing is trying to get into it because it's deep. It's an awkward spot at the back of the engine bay. And you can't get your hand down there. So the next job was to remove the automatic bilge pump hose and the manual bilge pump hose, get those out of the way and then we could actually get to where we needed to be. It's pretty grim down there, there is slime that's collected up over the years and the pipes don't get right to the bottom of that bilge. We don't know how long it had been since it had been last cleaned but there was a layer of black sludge in the bottom which we needed to get out before we could get to the keel bolt. And we've got various things from the Chinese shop, because that's always got useful things. And we've managed to get most of the gunk out. 
So Woody had to design a tool which could scrape it away. I suppose we've got to scrape it off. That strap kind of gets in the way, doesn't it? We found this in the bottom. It's um, a part of the socket set. We found a new screwdriver. I think that might be useful. And cable ties and various other little bits. This might be like a specialised piece that only goes in an hour. So this is an example of some of the gunk and that bag is full of slime. <laughs> so finally we give it a spray out with a hose pipe and literally just mopped it up. And then once we've done all that, then we've got to detach the keel bolt and we've got to attach a new bonding strap. Oh dear. Living on board with a family means you can't totally disengage with family life. So it means you go from build cleaner to electrician to teacher to nurse, all in the space of a few minutes sometimes. Keep doing it, keep doing it. <laughs> That's the germs dying. Right, try not to scrape your knees again, okay? And of course, children's entertainment manager as well. Now, we need to finish because it's carnival time and we need to get ready and take the kids to this carnival. So the next day we were back in business um, and it was good to start the day with a nice clean bilge and try and get the kids involved as well. That was holding the bonding strap on in the bilge, which is why I got Rowan to tie a piece of string onto the screwdriver because if I lost that down the bilge that's a metre and a half to get down. But that's what we were after, so the bonding strap is now undone, I just need to cut it off now and replace it with a new one. Ugh. Okay, so there's that's the old copper bonding strap and as you can see it's snapped off so the other half is down there somewhere. So we still had the problem of removing the nut and retrieving the last piece of bonding strap that was still down there. But also I've noticed that the, the actual wires themselves probably need cutting off and stripping because I can't imagine that there's much conductivity through there. Damn it. I cut the old bonding strap off and uh, I'm just going to clean up the wires now. So although I managed to borrow a 32mm socket to take the nut off, I still didn't have anything long enough to reach down into the keel to take it out. There was a local builder's merchant nearby and I had to make up a tea bar for less than 5 euros actually. hardware store to get a bit of 14 mil bar welded into a T because I can't find any copper strap in I've got some 28 mil copper pipe which I'm hoping I'm going to beat down flat to make the strap or cut lengthways I haven't decided yet and, um, and flatten it out so, so we get on with that. There's still a bit of grinding to get the T-bar down to the right size to fit a socket. Right, that's the bolt and this thing, this instrument here, it's Woody's tool. One, two, three. It's, I don't think it's holding the key on. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. It's just there to hold the strap. Okay. 
Then I had to make up another tool using uh, a wallpaper scraper and a broom handle to retrieve a nut. At least let me bug my... Okay, you've got it. Don't knock it. Got it. And there she is. You can see where the bonding strap's broken off there. And the nut. So the next task was to remake the bonding strap. Um, and I did this using the copper pipe that I got at the builder's merchant and grinding it lengthways. And that way we got two straps for the price of one. Next, I cut a hole in the end of the strap so we could fit it over the keel bolt. So this is the new bonding strap which is going to go down onto the keel bolt and then we're going to reinstate the bonding wires at the top. And the nut had to be stuck into the socket so we could hold it as we put the T-bar down over the bolt. And finally we had to fix the rest of the bonding cables to the strap using proper connectors this time. and then fix the strap to the bulkhead using a more substantial screw. And finally, being British, we had a nice mug of tea and some cake on deck. It's an automatic bilge pump. Okay, forget all of that, start again. And we've managed to get most of the gunk out, and now we've just got a splash. Someone's just gone swimming in the water that we just pumped out. So please give this video a thumbs up and comment below, providing that YouTube still hasn't disabled our comments. For this video, I'd like to thank in particular my cordless tools, which were invaluable, and also the Ammo Forum for their depth and breadth of knowledge in all things Ammo. Thanks especially to the patrons. The filming, editing and uploading of these videos wouldn't happen if it wasn't for you guys. So thanks very much and thanks for sharing in our journey.